after Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler they feeding now, Mr. Mannering? Well, they're throbbing a little from time to time, you know, nurse, but uh, I'm grinning and bearing it. Well, we got a visitor to cheer you up. Not Mrs. Mannering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's two gentlemen. You can come in now. He's quite respectable. Can I do you now, sir? Come in, Joe. Hello, Wilson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can stay until the bell goes. Oh, that's very sweet. And, and thank you so much for showing us the way. Well, that's quite all right, sir. I must say that uh, that uniform uh, really does suit you awfully well. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank I, you, I think it's the belt, the belt, that little belt you're wearing. Yes, it makes your, <laughs> it makes your waist look absolutely tiny. That will be all, nurse. Thank you. <laughs> they have work to do, you know, tending the sick. <laughs> Don't understand about listening to all this Ronald Coleman stuff. <laughs> I've brought these for you, sir. Oh, how, how very kind, Joe. Uh, make yourselves at home. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very sir. much indeed. Thank you, sir. Sit down, Joe. Oh, thanks very much. It is not going to catch you, Benning, is it, sir? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Jones. Yeah. I have to hide it from Matron, though. That's right, sir. <laughs> oh, let's see what we've got here. Yeah. Great, Scott. Yeah. Grapes. <laughs> I haven't tasted a grape since 1939. Yeah. Oh. Well, they're not real grapes, so we... we <laughs> We impersonate them from electric light wires, see, and shave gooseberries. I see what you mean. Yeah, we, we had a bit of trouble from the fur on the gooseberries, but Mr. Frazee found a very fine bit of glass paper what he uses to finish off his ten guinea coffins with, and that's it. <laughs> yes, well, it was a very kind thought. As a matter of fact, I have received some fruit. From Mrs. Mannering. Oh, really? Oh, how nice. Is this it? Yes, that's it. Oh, how nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it says, uh, get well soon. Yeah, oh. There's something on the back, too. Look. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, the, uh, yes, the Anderson shelter is leaking again. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to wait till I get home, I'm afraid. <laughs> what happens? Uh, how, how was the operation? Uh, now, I want to talk to you about that, uh, Wilson, yes. in private. I wonder if you'd mind popping out for a moment, Jones. Oh, me, sir? Yes. Oh. I've got something personal I want to say to oh, Sergeant yes. Wilson. Yes, yes, right, sir. I understand, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Jones to leave because... I'll just be outside, you see. <laughs> I'll be just without the beer shop, right, sir? Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you. I asked Jones to leave because I think you ought to see my feet. <laughs> Why? Because I want you to understand every single implication of this whole affair. Oh, I see you. Dear, dear, my... <laughs> oh, my dear, how awful. Now, it's my contention that that condition has been brought about by active service. What? Uh, you mean, uh, ingrowing toenails? <laughs> Not a shadow of a doubt. It's all those long hours of duty. They'll never be the same again, you know. Are you going to try and get a disablement pension? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. But I'm convinced that that's been caused by all the standing about that I do. Oh, yes. Well, you do quite a lot of uh, sitting about as well, don't you? I mean, uh, <laughs> have you had any trouble down there? <laughs> you know, there's a certain coarse streak in you, Wilson. <laughs> 
picture pictures up at that public school. Uh, <laughs> office, <laughs> office. <laughs> well, I'm merely alerting you to my condition so that you can be on guard against it for yourself and on behalf of our troops. Well, I shall be very, very careful, sir. Right, all right. Well, I shan't mention it again. All right, sir. You can come in now, Jones. I never heard the word, sir. <laughs> 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 Right. Very glad to see our chaps are doing so well in the desert. Ah, yeah. Those high ties are no match for Tommy Atkins, eh, Jones? No, you're right there, sir. It's cos we keep going in with the old cold steel a lot, you see, sir. Now, them wops, they're not used to it, sir. Well, not many people can get used to it, really, you see. It's not surprising, is it? You've got a great big grenadier guardman going, woo! Very few people can stomach that sort of thing, can they? Oh, no, no. <coughs> All right, never mind that. Well, uh, how's the platoon? Oh, well, they're getting on swimmingly, sir. Really? Oh, yes, yes. Miss you, of course. Oh, yes, well, they're bound to do that, of course, but... Uh, unfortunately, I think I'm going to be trapped here for another four days. Oh, yeah, well, don't you fret yourself, Mr Mannering. Mr Wilson here has been making us carry on as if you were there like an invisible presence with us, like a guiding star. And he don't use bull as much as you do. <laughs> well, I'm not in favour of bull. Anyone will tell you that. But are you maintaining discipline? Oh, yes, sir. I think I'm keeping the discipline very well. In my... in my style. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope to goodness you are. There's only one way to run an army, you know, Wilson. You must have obedience. Instant, unthinking obedience. No! I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson, but I really feel that you did the wrong thing. Yeah. Well, I do wish you'd stop nagging at me all the time. I've got the most dreadful headache coming on. <laughs> <laughs> the whole idea's doomed, doomed from the start. I tell you, you can't have vicars in the army. <laughs> you mix. It's like oil and vinegar. Mix very good salad dressing. <laughs> oil and vinegar. Providing you put the oil in first, or... Uh, is it the vinegar? That I'm not talking about salad dressing. I'm simply saying that when young Arthur here let the vicar join our platoon, he made an idiot of himself, didn't he, son? Go on, admit it, admit it, no, admit no, it. What else could I do? I mean, the whole story's here in the papers. I mean, hundreds of clergymen are, jo are joining up. That's wonderful. And mark my words, Jon Verger. No, oh, he's a Jonah. He's a face like a sour prune. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it will happen. Uh, Mr. Manor had been here. Yes, well, he's not here, is he? He's not going to be here for two, three days. I do wish you'd stop going on at me all the time. You yes. leave Uncle Arthur alone. He did all right. It's all right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because can be very useful. Look at Spencer Tracy. Oh, Frank, <laughs> Now, James Cagney was about to go to the chair and Spencer Tracy asked him if he'd die like a coward so that the dead-end kids wouldn't think that he was an hero. So he went to the chair, all shouting and screaming, carrying on something awful. He died all yellow. <laughs> Wasn't that Charlie Chang? Oh, God. <laughs> when we was with Lord Kitchener, we had a real nice padre with us. Yes, a good one. He was a hard man, you know, Lord Kitchener. Always cursing and swearing. And this padre, he was always begging and praying him to turn away from his evil habits. Anyway, the night before the Battle of Omdurman, he lined us all up and he gave Lord Kitchener and all the rest of us a drumhead service, <gasps> yes. And the next day, just before the battle was due to commence, Lord Kitchener grabbed all his binoculars and he saw on the horizon 40,000 dervishes all chasing towards us. Oh, my God, he said. And the party was all smiles because he thought he'd done a good job on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, right. We're going on and on and on about it, isn't it? I mean, it's all done. It's very nearly half past. What? Well, there you are, you see. It's very naughty of you, keeping me chattering away yes. here. I mean, oh, we, we all ought to be on parade or doing something like that. Now, come along, all of you. Come on. Please, you can. Come on. Oh, dear. I, I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm late. The confirmation class went oh. on and on and on. Have I missed anything? No, it's perfect. Old We're just going to start the parade now. Oh, how very exciting. Right. You left your boat in the vestry, you reverend. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> all right. Well, but now that you're both here, we can start. Now, come along. Goody, goody. <laughs> Private Yeatman, hat. All right, come on, you two. You stand at the end there and just watch what the others do and try and follow them, all right? Right. Tune. Probably it is everywhere. Come along, please. Come on. Probably it is. Tune. Tune. Attention! <laughs> 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 yes, oh, 
It wasn't awfully good, was it? Now, the thing is to try and get it all together. So we try it again, shall we? All right, pay attention now, platoon. Probably these are a platoon. Attention! Stand at ease. Yes, yes, that's quite a lot better. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't. It was a shambles. <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy. <laughs> yeah, we weren't expecting you for two or three days. Obviously. And I needed the beds for more urgent cases, so I discharged myself. And by the looks of things, it's just as well I did. Well, Please. very nice to see you back in the saddle, sir. Thank you, Jones. Even though you are a bit dodgy on the pins. <laughs> I think I'd better inspect the men. All right, sir. Squad. Squad! Squad! Yeah, uh, Wilson, sir. Yeah, Wilson, stand further away from my feet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't beg your pardon. I'm right. so sorry. Right, squad. Squad. Attention! <laughs> Very smart, Jones, as usual. Thank you, sir. I always try to keep myself smart and on the alert. And although I am talking to you at the moment, my eyes are darting hither and thither everywhere. <laughs> always ready to see if there's any danger lurking. And if I detect even the smallest bit of peril, I'm on to it before you can say... Yes, sir, well. Well, he... He moved and I detected him. Mr. <laughs> Mannering, can I stand next to someone else, please? <laughs> Stay where you are, Pike. What's this? A violin case. How dare you bring a violin on parade? Take this man's name, Wilson. Right, sir. And stand away from my feet. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I beg your pardon. Sorry, sir. Miss Manrin, I haven't got a violin in it. I've got the Tommy gun in it. That like Edward G. Robinson in Scarface. I can get it oh. out in a minute. <laughs> you know about this, sir? <laughs> Don't ever bring that on parade again. See me in the office afterwards. Where's Walker? Oh, he asked me to leave a note in his place. <laughs> Pick it up, Wilson. Right, sir. <laughs> Captain Mannering. Personal. Oh. Mm, personal? Yes. Well, give it to me. Oh. <laughs> Unusual perfume. Petrol. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear Cap. <laughs> Thanks for letting me off. Had to go up to, up to the spoke for a few days to do a deal. I think I can swing it for a grand, but I shall have to drop the geezer a pony. <laughs> On the other hand, I may cop it for a bit under the odds, in which case I'll have to sweeten him with a monkey. <laughs> bar for bar for his nippers. <laughs> P.S. Here's a couple of answers for yourself. <laughs> How dare he try to bribe me. <laughs> See him in the office as soon as he comes back. No, right, sir. There's going to be quite a queue there, isn't there? All right, that'll be enough. And will you get away from sorry. my feet? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> What's that piece of white paper doing in your hat? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, yes, uh, that's for the sun. For the sun? Uh, yes, you see, uh, Sergeant Wilson won't let me wear my Panama, and my nose is very sensitive, so I thought this is, is, is the next best thing. <laughs> Words fail me. Yeah. <laughs> He'd better see you in the office as well, sir. <laughs> well, Fraser, at least you look normal. Thank you, sir. The wee moose will be gone from my pocket by the morrow. The what? <laughs> the wee moose. I couldn't leave her all by, by herself, sir. She, she, she's... <laughs> Our bairns are due. Oh. <laughs> Pregnant mice, no shields, violins. I'm away for a few short hours and you let the, the entire unit crumble before your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? I've joined 
and your happy band. <laughs> and where is reverence go, there goest I. <laughs> If this is some sort of joke, it's a very bad one. Well, so they asked to join up, so I really saw no reason to stop them. Better follow me, all three of you. <laughs> now, what is all this tomfoolery? Don't you call his reverence a tomfool? Yes, sir, you see. It's all there in the paper. I've read all that rubbish. Well, they had just asked to join up, sir, so I just signed them on. It was quite spontaneous. I, I rather like that, you know. I've been wrestling with my conscience for some time. Oh, it's been agony. He's been wrestling night and day. I can vouch for that. Yes, thank you, Mr. Yateman. Finally, I asked myself, could I stand by and watch my wife being raped by a Nazi? <laughs> no, I said to myself, I couldn't. But you're not married. I have a very vivid imagination. <laughs> so, with the example of all those other clergy before my eyes, I knew that my place was at your side. But I don't want you by my side. Yes, well, I mean, I'm afraid it's too late to do anything about it now, sir. These are the papers. Yes, I think they are, sir, yes. Well, I'll show you whether it's too don't late Don't you or not. dare destroy his reverence's well, particulars. Well, it won't be any help, sir. You see, I'm afraid those are duplicates. Right. If that's how the land lies. Soldiers you are, and soldiers you shall be. You we'll parade with Jones's section tonight, and we'll show you what army life's all about. And we shan't spare you anything, I can promise you that. There'll be no pulpit here to lean on. We shall meet someday, somewhere. Yeah. Private Pike, Private Vicar, and Private Verger. <laughs> <laughs> the rest into the guardroom, fall out. Now you better put your tin helmets on in case a bomb drops on you. <laughs> now listen, Private Vicar, Private Pike and I are going to demonstrate correct proceedings for a military soldier guarding things while on sentry. Now, first thing you've got to look out for is parachuters, and saboteurs, and enemies of the realm. If any of these should approach your person, you challenge them in the aforesaid manner. Right, Private Pike, here's shown. Halt! Who goes there? <laughs> that was very good, that was. <laughs> very much right. Now, you do it just like that. And you think we could go in now? I'm getting a bit cold. I haven't got my muffler with me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to bother about muffler, boy. You're a soldier now. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it is a bit nip, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, it won't, won't take a tick tick. Come on now. You, you do what Private Pike just done. Come on. Halt, who goes there? <laughs> well, he's not going to come from down there, is he? <laughs> Can't you make your voice a bit more fierce? So, you know, make it like a rough, devil may care, more brutal sort of person. You know? <laughs> I thought he did it very well. Look, I'm not asking you. You just get silence in the ranks. I'm not frightened of you, you know. You don't impress me at all. Oh, be quiet, Mr Yateman. If I only more trouble off him, he'd be on a fizzer, Section 40. Conduct to military discipline prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do the next bit now? But Yes, yeah, we'll do the next bit. What is the next bit? Upon being challenged with Hawk Who Goes There, the parachutist saboteur or uh, enemy of the realm replies, friend. Whereupon you say, advance, friend, and be recognised. Yeah, you, you go and do that. Do it. Advance, friend, and be recognised. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got to be friendly like that, have you? You're asking him if he's friendly. You don't want to be friendly yourself, do you? But suppose he advances and I don't recognise him. Oh, well, if you don't know him, sir, he's bound to know you. <laughs> oh, everybody knows his reverence and respects him. Well, you know, you, it, it's all a bit more complicated than that, but you can pick it up as you go along. And if you have any bother, you send for the guard commander. That's me. And if I have any trouble or anyone shoots you or anything like that, I call out, turn out the guard, turn out the guard, and then we all come out and give you a hand. Let's go inside. It's a bit nippy yeah, out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look at that. Two shillings for a packet of 20 cigarettes. Highway robbery. <laughs> I know the world's gone mad. I remember when I was a young man, some of us young braves decided we'd have a really good night out. And so we went to London and uh, saw the show at the Gaiety Theatre, and then we had a really good snap-up supper, four courses, 
with wine. Then we all sail home in handsome cabs. And you know, we said some change left out of half a sovereign. <laughs> you know, the trouble with you, Godfrey, you have always been a spendthrift. <laughs> Well, I don't think prices are too bad. Young Pike and I went to the Rosemary Cafe in Eastgate the yeah. other day for lunch, didn't we? You know what we had? We had brown Windsor soup, we had well meat cutlets, we had mashed potatoes, Swedes, tapioca pudding and a cup of tea. Ninepence. <laughs> Mind you, it wasn't very good. <laughs> I was sick. <laughs> Danger oft in Christian soldiers on wood. Oh, oh. <laughs> Somebody is making an approach. Where? Over there. I can just see something through the murk. Oh dear. Will you do it or will I? Don't you worry, sir. I'll take care of it. Halt! Who goes there? What did you say? I said, Halt! Who goes there? Adolf. What did he say? I think he said Adolf. <laughs> Did you say Adolf? That's right. Adolf who? Adolf Hitler. I think I think it's a cheeky young boy, sir, and he's having us on. Come here, little boy. If you don't behave yourself properly, you'll be in serious trouble for disobeying army orders. Go on, you're not proper soldiers. You're an old vicar and he's your old verger. I'm not taking any notice of you. I'll give you one more chance. Say it again, Mr Yateman. <laughs> Halt! Who goes there? Adolf Hitler. Oh, dear, I think we'd better send for Mr Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I could clip him round here. No, no violence. We'll send for Mr Jones. Turn out the guard! Turn out the guard! Come on, lads, the biggest in trouble! Turn out the guard! Turn out the guard! Come on, boy, turn out the guard! Where's the enemy? Where are they? You better fix them, yeah. boys. Mr it? Jones, well, he said, Halt, who goes there, just as you told us to, and he positively refuses to say friend. Who does? This little boy. For goodness sake, you didn't have done us out for him. But he's supposed to say friend. You said so yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know that boy's a cheeky little monkey. He comes running into my shop when it's full of people and shouts Sainsbury's. <laughs> He comes into our bank as well and shouts National Provincial. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do a thing about it. You're not proper soldiers. No, aren't we? We'll soon show you. Bring him inside. Yeah. You heard what the corporal said. Get inside. <laughs> <laughs> he hurt me. You're not supposed to do that. It's against the Geneva Convention. Yes, and so's that. <laughs> you come in here, young fella, me lad. He hurt me, the great big bully. I'll tell my Uncle Willie on you. Hey, 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 hey. I want none of your bark chats, and I'm going to talk to you in your own language. Watch out, or I'll hand you over to the police. Yes, we're not compiling with lawful army things what we're trying to tell you about. <laughs> What's going on here? Why is there no guard person? Uh, sir, we have apprehended a suspect, and we're interrogating him, sir. <laughs> Suspect, where is he? Yeah, there he is, sir. Well, he doesn't look very suspicious to me. Well, he said his name was Adolf Hitler. <laughs> I shouldn't take too much stock of that if I were you, Vicar. <laughs> Run along, boy, and in future don't be cheeky. He hit me. I want an apology. Now go along or I'll have my sergeant put his belt around your backside. That's amazing. Assault Bally and threats and foul language. I'll tell my uncle you have the law on you. Wilson, see him off. I beg your pardon, sir? See him off, see him off. I do wish you'd stop addressing me as if I were a Labrador. <laughs> Come on, you little <laughs> Now, in case there's any follow-up to this incident, I want a complete report from you all as soon as Sponge's section relieves you. I was only having a little joke with them when this great big home guard skilt me across the lug. Go on, Amish, go on. Then he did it again and they all set on me. What, pushing and shoving and punching? That's right. Then the officer, old Sourface. You mean Mannering? That's him. He told his dad didn't give me a whipping, so I ran away in terror. Oh, if there's anything that makes my blood boil, it's cruelty to innocent children. They was cruel, very cruel. Right, you come with me, Amish. I'll soon settle Mannering's ash. Are you going to fight him? Well, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's a... He's a cheeky wee devil. You deserved a good scalping. Thank you, Fraser. Well, if you've got all the details down, Wilson, I'll sign it and we can put it on record. Although, from my experience in these matters, that's the last we shall hear of it. Yes. 
Right, Mannering, get your jacket off and come outside. What are you talking about? How dare you come barging in here? Hamish, repeat what you've just told me. That's the one, Uncle Willie. Oh, he hit me time and time Uncle again. Uncle Willie? Uncle oh, Willie. Yes. And he pointed his bin at me. And that fat pompous one said, just run along on my side, I'll put you back across the back side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's your mark, isn't it, Mannering, bullying little boys? Why did you pick on someone your own size? Come on, try having a go at me. Come on, come on. Oh, Hold my glasses, oh, Wilson. <laughs> 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 Don't you tangle with him in your crippled state. I'll do it for you, sir. Come on, hold on, Johnson. Man, you're too old, too old yeah. here. Come on, put him up. Right. Put him up. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice, that's very nice, that is. Uh, eight against one. No, it's only seven. I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> right, that settles it. I'm bringing a charge. I'm having you all up in court. And you'll hear a few home truths there. They're a laughing stock, aren't they, Uncle? Yeah, of course they are, laughing stock. Playing at soldiers, that's all they can do. Yeah, playing at soldiers, that's it. And his sausages are all bread. Yeah, all bread, all bread. My sausages are not. Well, you can't get the meat, you know. Tell him, Amos. You should hear me and my mates laugh when you come on church parade. And he's hobbling around with his Red Cross handbag. Yeah, yeah, you and your Red Cross handbag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're almost as funny as the world is. Yes, yeah, right, they're almost. What did you say? <laughs> well, you were your way high and your flat nose and your. Hey, fro, fro! Oh, you tickle in the weather, sir! Well, I think that's the last we heard of that. <clears throat> Although. One thing is quite clear. If you, Vicar, and you, Verger, had dealt with that matter in a proper military fashion in the first place, this occurrence would never have happened. No. Oh, I see. It's all my fault, is it? So it's his reverence's fault, is it? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it just goes to show how very silly the whole thing is. I'm fed to the teeth of the whole lot of you. You can keep your silly... <laughs> and your silly hat. And your silly tunic. Oh, what about the silly trousers? I'll set them round in the morning. Ben, <laughs> Creek, help! There's a stick of incendiaries dropped round across the ice street. The old town of the old fire. Get the seven buckets out. Get the seven buckets out. Get the seven buckets out. Hey, two buckets of water. Quickly. Quickly. Two sides out. Tread on your foot. Oh, never mind that. There's a water. Where's my helmet? Come on. Hand the double. 